everyone, it's Jessica from Cyberlink. Welcome to a Power Director workshop on motion tracking. Today, I'm going to show you three practical ways to use this feature. Motion tracking in video editing is when you track the movements of a person, object, or scenery within a scene. Once the movement is tracked, you can apply text, image, icon, and essentially any object to follow that same movement. We often see motion tracking used when applying animation effects, having labels or text follow a person in video games or sports, or for censoring sensitive content. Let's try this out in PowerDirector. With your clip in the timeline, go to Tools and select Motion Tracker. In the Motion Tracker window, a tracker has already been added to the timeline. Play the video clip and pause when the object we want to track first appears on screen. Select Mark In to mark the beginning of the tracker. Move the selection box in the preview window to the object we want to track. Adjust the size, then click the Track button. PowerDirector will then automatically track the object. Select Mark Out to complete the tracking. Next, let's add some text to the tracked object. We can change the font, size, and more. We can also adjust the placement of the text by dragging in the preview window. Next, let's try adding a picture-in-picture -picture object. First, right-click the track to copy the tracker. Since it'll also copy the position of the selection box and track path, we can directly add our media without retracking the path. Click the Import Media button here and we'll choose Import from Video Overlay Room from the drop-down menu. Let's choose this PIP object from the Blogger Social Media Pack. Then adjust the size and position of the PIP. Hit play to preview the result. Now we've got text and a PIP object following the same track path. Next, let's create a new motion path by adding a new tracker by clicking Add a Tracker. Repeat the same steps as before by dragging and adjusting the selection box and click Track. If we want to be more accurate, we can also fine tune the track path by tracking manually frame by frame. Select track one frame only and track the object frame by frame while adjusting the selection box. We can still continue to auto track by clicking on the track button again. Then we'll continue by adding another PIP object to this tracker. If we want to delete a tracker, simply right click the track and click remove tracker. After we finish all motion tracking, click OK to save and close the motion tracker window. All the editing and media will automatically be added back to our editing timeline. We can also organize the timeline to improve our editing efficiency by dragging the same clip type to the same track. Here, we're organizing all these text clips together on the same track. Next, let's add some transitions to the media we've just added. We've already got some frequently used transitions saved in the My Favorites folder. Let's apply these to our clips. Drag and place the transition on the clip. The default duration of the transition is 2 seconds, but we can adjust the duration by double-clicking on the transition itself or click the Modify button here. If we want to edit a motion track media object, we can double-click the media clip to open the designer. We can see that keyframes are automatically added on the timeline. And here we want to stabilize the title a bit, so we'll move the keyframes here. We can still add additional motion trackers if we need to by placing the playhead to where we want and select the video clip on the timeline. Let's add an effect this time. In the drop-down menu, we can choose to apply Mosaic, Spotlight, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. There are also two mask types, Box and Circle. We can directly adjust the mask size in the preview window this sensor effect is incredibly useful when you're shooting a vlog or dealing with sensitive information. Now that you've learned three ways to use motion tracking, let us know if there's any other cool effects you'd like to learn using this feature. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon, and I'll see you next time.